The Hidden Valley. A broad valley opened before our eyes, surrounded by high snow-covered peaks. This oasis was more to our liking. The Nubian refugees called it El Teb. One side of the valley was fertile and offered ideal conditions for agriculture, cattle breeding and hunting, while the other side lay fallow, yet was rich in mineral resources. We had to decide quickly which side we would choose and whether or not we wanted to enter into direct confrontation, for the space in the valley was limited and our enemies could have forced us into a corner.
Mission accomplished. The people here put up very little resistance out of concern for the last black pharaoh. Our scholars learned that his modest empire had been besieged by a people of Asian appearance. Thus, the Nubians had left their dwellings in the valley in great haste. We almost felt sorry for them. The entire population seemed weakened by our conflict. We noticed that the Nubian men shared our fate. They too had no women in their community. There have been reports of huge explosions, and that all roads leading to the last pharaoh have been cut off by piles of stone and rubble. We asked ourselves whether we could perhaps reach him, and entered one of the mysterious portals once again.